This video is a conceptual introduction to correlation and simple linear regression. We use correlation when we want to test the association between two variables and both our independent or exposure variable and our dependent or outcome variable are continuous. For example, we might want to test the association between age and systolic blood pressure. The best way to visualize the relationship between two continuous variables is a scatter plot. For a scatter plot, the dependent variable is usually on the y-axis and the independent variable is usually on the x-axis. The plot is then populated with dots or points, each one representing a sample member's value for the independent and dependent variable. For example, the sample member represented by the circle dot might have a value of 100 for our dependent variable and a value of 50 for our independent variable. Correlation is the extent to which the dependent and independent variable co-vary. In other words, what is the extent of a pattern in the scatter plot? In human research, if people who have higher values for the independent variable also tend to have higher values for the dependent variable, as shown here, we call this a positive correlation. If people who have higher values for the independent variable tend to have lower values for the dependent variable, as shown here, we call this negative correlation. If there's no relationship between the two variables, as shown here, we say there's no correlation. The extent of correlation between the two variables is summarized by something called Pearson's correlation coefficient, which is represented by the letter R. If there's a perfect positive correlation between the dependent and independent variable, Pearson's correlation coefficient will equal 1. If there's a perfect negative correlation between the dependent and independent variable, Pierce's correlation coefficient will equal negative 1. If there's no correlation between the two variables, Pearson's correlation coefficient will equal 0. To summarize, Pearson's correlation coefficient ranges from negative 1 to 1, with negative 1 being a perfect negative correlation, 1 being a perfect positive correlation, and zero being no correlation. The purpose of simple linear regression is to try to predict the dependent variable based on the independent variable. Simple linear regression does this by estimating the best fit line for the relationship between our dependent and independent variables. The equation for this line starts with y, which is the value of the dependent variable predicted by the equation. When using linear regression, the symbol beta is used to represent the intercept and slope of the best fit line. Beta 0 is the y-intercept of the line, and beta 1 is the slope of the line. x is the independent variable, and e is an error term representing the fact that people's values for the dependent variable do not fall exactly on the line. Let's work through an example. Say that our y-intercept as shown here, is about 7. So our value for beta, 0, is 7. Then, say for every one unit increase in our independent variable on the x-axis, there is a 0 0.75 unit increase in our dependent variable on the y-axis. So our slope, or beta 1, is 0 0.75. So, to predict anyone's value for the dependent variable, we would use the equation shown here in red. We would start with the intercept and add the person's value for the independent variable times the slope. The error term simply acknowledges that this prediction will not be perfect because people do not fall directly on the line. The smaller the error term, the closer the actual data fit to the line. The most relevant number is the slope. We would interpret this slope to mean that for every one unit increase in our independent variable, we would expect to see a 0.75 unit increase in our dependent variable. In this example, the best fit line has an intercept of approximately 20 and a slope of 0. In other words, for every one unit increase in the independent variable, there's no change in the dependent variable. This is similar to a correlation of 0 
meaning there's no relationship between the independent and dependent variable. When you want to test whether there's a statistically significant relationship between our independent and dependent variable using simple linear regression, we start with a null hypothesis that the slope of our best fit line equals zero. We then test this null hypothesis using something called a z-test to get our p-value. If the p-value is sufficiently small, we can reject the null hypothesis and confidently say that the slope is different from zero, or in other words, that our dependent variable can be predicted by our independent variable.